Hello and welcome to another edition of Outside the Box News. I'm your movie guy, Cannon King, and here I have today with me my best friend, Chase Coble. So, dude. Um, so we're here today to give you our. Uh, there's some Power Ranger. The new Power Ranger movie is coming out next year, uh, March 24th, 2017, and some new images have been released. These this past week and um, some comments and stuff. So here is some of the newest images. Um, there's that one. We have a poster here. We have this image looks like five Iron Men. And then we <laughs> have uh, Elizabeth Banks. She's playing Rita Repulsa, the villain of the movie. Um, and it stars her and Brian Cranston are probably two of the biggest actors and actresses in the film. Um, Brian Cranston is playing Zordon, which, you know, it's been a long, I mean, probably since I was super young, since I've watched Power Rangers. So I am going to need a refresher on what, what it all is again. But um, first of all, I just want to say, I personally love the images. I think that you could not get better outfits than that right there. Like I, unless you want to do the spandex again or whatever they used to do. But I think that these images uh, give me a little bit of hope for the movie, actually. Um, like I said, they look like five Iron Man, but that's still cool with me. And when they're all their helmets are peeled back in that image, that's awesome. I think, I think that everything you put out so far is um, kind of building up to be a good film. What about you, Chase? We talk about marketing a lot and, I think that this movie so far, normally we would have seen a trailer for a movie like this. We would have already seen a trailer. I think that we're seeing really good marketing on uh, their part. As far as I'll, everything that they've done, I love so far. I think the, the suits look awesome. I'm glad they didn't go with spandex. I think that... My one complaint would be Elizabeth Banks, that image. That looked fine. It looks very comic booky, almost like a Poison Ivy look from like Batman and Robin to me. Don't know how I feel about her look, but I'm sure it'll be fine when the movie comes out. Um, I like that, you know, I like the cast for the Power Rangers, but I think Brian Cranston being Zordon. I think it's like the perfect role for him. Maybe. I was about to say, I, he's he's one I, we've been talking about a lot lately. He's another one, one of those actors that fit that mold of they're they're great in whatever they do, even the bad movie. Like Trumbo yeah. last year, he's an amazing actor, but the movie was fine. But he he did such a great job. He's Oscar nominated for that. Um, I also wanted to mention his comments the other week when he was asked why he picked this role and wanted to do this movie, he said that this film has a Dark Knight-esque tone and vibe, and he said it could be like the Dark Knight. Now, that is bold. Those are some bold words there, Cotton. Like, I don't, I, I don't know. Um, that's some high expectations to throw that's out there for this movie. Word. I know. To, to, I guess I could kind of see where he's coming from, though, to go from this uh, comic-y, very, very kiddish-like Power Rangers into, I think what he's talking about is it's going to be a much darker tone than the ones before. Uh, and that, I don't know, I mean, everything so far to me has just looked good. The director is um, Deed, uh, Dean Israelite, and he did the Project Almanac which is a gr really good movie, a uh, really good time travel movie. Yeah. And also right. the writer is Max Landis for Chronicle. So Max um, Landis, I don't know if you follow him on Twitter, but Max Landis, I've read some of his like I've read some of his Power Rangers like script, some of the stuff that he's like put out. Max Landis, I don't always agree with some of his opinions. He's kind of wild on Twitter. Yeah. But man, he can rock. And yeah. he, everything that I've read of his has been great. Uh, I like Mike Slandis a lot. He's definitely worth a follow on Twitter if you're into movies. Uh, but I, just again, I got to go back to marketing. I feel like they're doing a great job marketing the movie. I think um, a teaser is soon to come. I think a teaser trailer is very soon to come. Uh, yeah. With all of this being thrown out there. 
Um, like I said, it comes out March 24th of 2017, which March, you know, a couple of years ago was seen more as the dumping grounds, but yeah. these newer movies have broke that mold. You know, um, the Batman versus Superman came out in March, March 25th this year. So I think that, um, I think, I think that's not a bad thing either. I think that's pushing towards summer movies and that's, uh, that's that's strong. It's strong for them to do. To that it must believe in the movie to put it out at that time, because um, I'm I'm sure they could put it out in February if they wanted to, and uh, in the dumping grounds. I think this movie will do good in the box office too. Like I just have a feeling like it's going to be a good box office. Movie. I, I could see. I mean, we we talk about the box offices of the future, and I could I could I don't know what this is up against, but I could see this being. We talked about Pokemon Go today. And the '90s, that '90s nostalgia. I feel like if they market this well enough, that people watching can go, "Oh my gosh, look at this new Power! This looks like an awesome Power Rangers movie. I really want to see this." I remember watching the Power Rangers as a kid. Like, I know I watched Power Rangers as a kid. I don't really remember it at all, like not one bit. But just the fact that it was a part of my childhood. If the first teaser trailer comes out and it's awesome, I know I'm going to want to see it. Like I. I have some excitement level for this movie to me. Yeah, I'm definitely excited about it. And just, again, I mean, it's due to marketing. I, I don't think that they're doing a bad job as long as they keep up with what they're doing. If we get a, I mean, a teaser trailer in a month, I mean, even if it's a couple weeks, I, I don't mind. And, you know, release like a, a, a full length trailer, maybe around November, December. Uh, I think that'd be great, and I mean, as long as they, they as long as they keep on the direction they're in now, I think it's going to be a solid movie. Yeah, I agree. Um, well, I've kind of given all my thoughts, Chase. Do you have anything else to say about the the images or anything like that? Go, go, Power Rangers! Okay, there we go. Great, great, great line to go out on. Um, well, thanks for watching. Uh, comment in the section below what you think about these images. If you're excited to see this movie, if you just don't really care. Um, like and subscribe, follow us on Twitter at OTB News and uh, stay stay up to date. We're going to have, I mean, we have so many videos being pushed out right now and there's, there's so much content. I'm sure you can find something you like. Um, like I said, thanks for watching and as always, think outside the box.